Legends, this is the story about how we made a million dollar product. I landed in this country Thanksgiving, cooked a massive turkey for some friends. <laughs> and that turkey, and it's, it's an absolute blessing to be here for Thanksgiving. We timed it perfectly, New York City one day, and then straight into some cooking for Thanksgiving for some- And then from then on, I went back and forth between Sydney and New York City a number of times just because part of my work took me back and forward. Being an Aussie bloke from the northern beaches of Sydney, I was fortunate to be in media in both countries until the day that we opened a restaurant here in New York City, down in Olita called Charlie Street. So team, this is the restaurant you see behind me, the nice white facade built in 2018. So we are, uh, I remember stumbling upon this crack place. I was walking along here on Kenmare Street and effectively there's a small roller door a little bit of a gap. And we've been looking for a spot for about 18 months by that point. And as I laid down, looked underneath, there was a massive fridge, but the place was empty. To the point where there's a lot of rubbish, uh, a lot of mess. Pretty happy. <laughs> so this is downstairs in the, uh, what is gonna be, I guess, uh, the locker room and uh, extra storage. So I looked online, I researched it and had a see. 41 Canmare was available, but it was not on any listings by realtors. They didn't, the owners themselves did not want to deal with anyone in related to a real estate agent. So I called Marilyn, the landlord, and we sat down at a local coffee shop and said, this will be the last coffee you ever have from another coffee shop because we're gonna set up an Australian cafe in your premise kept me grounded. And it's an exciting prospect to have a community of people brought around the same principles of what you grew up in Australia. In Australia, we love our cafes, we love our coffee, we love our community. Jumping out of the ocean from a surf, straight into working from a laptop. That's how I created my first books. I essentially went for a surf, came in, had a coffee at my local cafe, and was typing away on my laptop right by the beach. Now, taking that same principle and applying it here, it's what I always wanted to do. Early couple of years are pretty tough because you're pretty much every single day working in a restaurant, growing it, building your community, and things were going great. You know, I was doing media, I was doing all my content that you guys see, but then came 2020. In New York Tonight, City, indoor dining was shut down this week as part of Governor Andrew Cuomo's plan to slow the spread the of the coronavirus. Of Maurice, the governor she says he's ending, ending indoor dining in New York, New York City after the weekend. If the hospital rate didn't stabilize, we would close indoor dining. It is not. We're going to close indoor dining in New York City on Monday. As I say all this, I know that you guys know all this and what this year was, but uh, yeah. Let me tell you from, uh, from our perspective, what actually happened was instead of shutting down the restaurant, we decided to keep it open. But when you're operating a restaurant with minimal income coming through, it's up to the responsibility of the leaders, the owners, to obviously take charge. It's what you do, I've always led by example. So my business partners and I essentially we, uh, we adapted and he started doing delivery and meal plans as uh, you know a lot of businesses were. So this is my day, effectively getting up early around you know typical time, going straight to work, working from seven to about three on the tools and following that up with doing all the paperwork required to do things like ordering of goods, making sure inventory is checked in, making sure the deliveries of the food were going to the right people and billing was being done. Now, with all that being said, I then had to start all the stuff that involved this bad boy for you guys. So podcast, Instagram, socials, selfies, everything that was required in order to keep that side of my business going also got done, but between like four and like 10. Yeah, 2020 was very interesting for everybody. Let's be realistic. A lot of problems, a lot of dramas, 
The thing was, you couldn't really plan for 2020. No industry could. No one could actually understand and fathom what was about to take shape. In saying this, what we know in business is not how you necessarily plan for things, it's how you adapt. And out of all these unfortunate circumstances that did take place, Charlie Street grinded. We, the founders, did adapt. We found a way to continue to thrive, grow our business even further than we thought, but ultimately have the most greatest impact on society. So, whilst we changed and adapted, we also changed the game for you. Tommy, it's my first time at Charlie Street. What do I order? First time at Charlie Street, if you come in the morning, you're ordering a Naughty Eggs. You've got to get black coffee so you can really get a taste. So long black and a Naughty Eggs. And why the Naughty Eggs? It's an eggs, you've got the plant-based chorizo, that's our signature thing, you get delicious eggs, got the hummus on the sourdough, it's perfect, it's everything we do well. What's up guys? When's your first time at Charlie Street, what do you order? What I order? Yeah. First time? Uh, going throwback, probably a bowl that none no, of these no, no. people if, remember. When was your first time right now? Like, well, if you recommended to someone, what would you order? Oh, on today's menu? I thought you said first time, I was going to go throwback to Eeny time. Oh wow. OG. OG. Uh, right now? Burrito, uh, double chorizo. And because of the weather right now, I'll probably say cold brew with oat, but if it was February, maybe like a little portado with oat. So remember that. Good day, Cal. Hey, Cal. So this is the famous naughty eggs. So you've got two eggs on top of beautiful sourdough toast, your roast garlic hummus, and then the famous chorizo. Uh, one of two products we are releasing, both this wonderful ground texture. And effectively, this was made by the community for the community because we had so much feedback from wonderful people, just like Nate, thanks Nate, who effectively were very honest in telling us what the actual feedback was. And so to today, we've got many iterations, but uh, we're excited to be launching this product. So, let's show you the packaging. So my friends, this series is all about taking you all on a journey, a story to teach you how we brought the chorizo and the bolognese to market. It's a scary thing. There's a lot of unknowns. We don't even know if this is gonna be successful. We intend it to be because we've invested a lot of time and an incredible amount of money of getting just to this position right now and time. But if we reach our six month and 12 month goals, not only will it open up even more doors, but ultimately why this product is super special. Not only is it based entirely out of whole foods and plants, meaning it is amazingly good for you, increasing your dietary fiber and everything you need to look after your gut health, but with every product sold, we are helping support the environment at large. So, come with me on the journey of how we launched these products to market. Maybe you wanna learn how to launch a D2C and even a CPG product and know what that is as well. So I'm gonna show you in this series how it all begins. Beginning with episode two on what's actually in these products and how they came to be. Legends celebrating the launch of the chorizo and the bolognese and of course relaunching the YouTube channel I've got some awesome giveaways for you. Do you want to be someone who is the first to get one of these products? Maybe both all you need to do is hit that like button and subscribe, but that's not it I'm gonna give one person $1,000 and all you have to do is do it in the next five days be sure to like hit subscribe within the next five days not only will I send you a couple of these I'm also going to give you $1,000 cash.